Welcome back to the channel guys today. We'll be doing something a bit different on my channel I don't think I've ever done this before on my channel and I'm trying to expand my interest on the channel and Today we'll discuss about the COVID limited to doers or group stage draw So the draw actually happened earlier today and I'm gonna start to be watching this more COVID limited to doers more often guys And I've definitely been doing a lot more coverage about the Africa Champions League the Asian Champions League CONCACAF and you know We'll definitely look into it throughout the season. Obviously, I'm not gonna do this like uh, every so often compared to the Champions League, Europa League and Conference League of course for UEFA But we will still look into this maybe like, you know, every so often or now, you know, maybe look at the end of the season or something So, you know, here we have the couple of the drawers group stage draw And today I'm gonna give you guys my quick draw and you know, maybe do like some quick predictions Obviously not anything too concrete here, just very informal here So let's start with group A here guys, we have Acuyas, Flamengo, Racing Club, Nubilis uh, Right off the bat, Flamengo should be top in this group as for second, I think second's very interesting. I would maybe just give the edge to Racing Club. However, I could see maybe Akuyas do it. So I'll say um, Flamengo should definitely top. I think I think I'm very certain with that. Very very certain with that. Then Group B, we got Independiente, Internacional, Metropolitanos, and Nacional. I will say Internacional. I think should top it, and I'll say Independiente comes second place. That's a very interesting group there. Group C, we got Barcelona SC, Bolivia, Cerro, Porteno, Palmeiras. Obviously, Palmeiras should be top in the group. No questions asked. And I'll say Barcelona gets second place. I believe they're from Ecuador. Um, so I will say they get second. Well, Group D is interesting. We got Fluminense, River Plate, Sporting Cristal, the strongest. I will say River Plate, I think, will top. And I'll say Fluminense gets second. Then Group E, we have um Argentina, what is that team? Is that juniors? Argentina's juniors. And the Corinthians, Independiente, and Liverpool. Corinthians, I think, should top. And then I'll say Argentina juniors, and then maybe Independiente, and then Liverpool last, I'll probably say. Group F. Oh, this is interesting. This is interesting. Boca juniors and Colo Colo. I actually have a Boca juniors friend and a Colo Colo friend. So they're actually both in the same group, which is very, very interesting. This is a really difficult one to call for top spot. I will probably just edge with Boca Juniors. I think Boca Juniors is slightly better. And then I'll say Coca-Cola second. And then I'll say Deportivo third. And then Monagas last. Then Group G, man. We got Alianza, Lima, Atletico PR, Atletico Monero, Libertad. I will say Atletico Monero. I think they should top. And I'll say Atletico PR can come in second place. And then Group H. Um, we got Atletico Nacional, Melgar, Olympia, Pratronanto. I'll probably say Olympia and then Atletico Nacional. I'll probably say something like that. So, very interesting here, guys. Obviously, they have a third place thing, which is pretty much the Europa League. Um, you know, the second tier, Copa Sudamerica. And, yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens, guys. So, let's see when the matches take place. The matches are going to take place on April 18th, I believe. It's not showing on here for some reason. So, yeah, on April 18th, I think will be the first match set of matches, which is very interesting, guys. Just at around a month's time from now, less than a month from now, like three weeks from now. So, I want to know what you guys think of these groups. What's your favorite group? For me, my personal favorite, I think the group that I'm looking forward to most, I'll say probably Group E. I think Group E could be very interesting. I think this one could be very spicy. I, I would maybe say that's a group of death. I would maybe say it's a group of death because you have Corinthians that are pretty good. Andy Piante is good. Even Liverpool, I would say, is somewhat decent. So, you know, I think that's a group that, you know, expect you could see the unexpected happen, you know, potentially. So... Should be very fascinating, guys. And let me know what you guys think of this. You know, maybe we should do this more often on my channel. You know, spread my knowledge. Obviously, I'm not the most well-educated when it comes to this. Um, but, you know, I'm learning on the day. And so, you know, I'm a big football fan. And, yeah. So, yeah, man. Just want to give you guys my quick thoughts on the Copa, uh, Copa Libertadores or group stage draw. And, yeah. So, if you're new around here, consider that like button. Hit the subscribe button as well. Comment down below your thoughts in the comment section below. And, yeah. I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.